Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nisha Singla and today's session is going to be very interesting as well as important as we are going to learn about hooks in React. In our previous video, we have already covered the basics of functional component as well as class component. So by this time, you must gotten a basic understanding of both. This session will give you good understanding about hooks, why they are called hooks and what purpose it solve for us. So if you are visiting my channel for the first time, please make sure to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get notified for my next upload. Now let's get started. Hooks were introduced in React version 16.8.0. So make sure if you want to learn or implement hook, you must be on this version or on higher version. So now let's understand what are hooks in React. Let me take you little back. I mean before React version 16.8.0, or the time when hooks were not in React. So there were so many things a class component can do, but a functional component cannot. For example, states can only be used in class component. So if you have created a functional component, there you cannot use states. That's why functional component used to call stateless component and class-based component used to call stateful components. Similarly, to use lifecycle methods like component did mount, component unmount, we need to use classes only. Functional component didn't have the concept of lifecycle hooks as well. So now when we talk about React application, states and lifecycle methods are something which is required most of the time to add dynamic behavior in your component. So developer used to write class component for that. And if they had created functional component during initial stage of development and later they need states in that component, they need to convert their functional component to class component. So to get rid from this problem, React team has introduced the concept of hooks. So to simplify it further, now we can use states and lifecycle methods inside functional component as well. Or we can say now functional components are quite powerful and they can do pretty much everything that a class component can do. So hooks are functions that let you hook into react states and lifecycle features from functional components. Hooks are only meant for functional components so we cannot use hook inside class component. There are different type of hooks available in react and each hook has some predefined functionality. For example, if you want to use states in functional component, we have use state hooks. And if you want to use lifecycle methods or implement side effects in your component, then we have use effect hooks. And if you want to create your own hook, then we have a concept of custom hooks as well. We are going to talk about all these hooks in detail in the later session. One more point to remember about hooks is all hooks will start with use keyword. Like I said, use state, use effect use callback, use memo. So you will notice like all hooks has a prefix of use keyword. So now all hooks are defined inside React package. So to use hook, you just need to import it from your React library and simply use that. Every hook has its own way of implementation. So now there are some rules. Okay, so when you use hooks, you have to take care about certain things. Let's talk about that first. First point, as I told you, like hooks can only be used inside functional component. So it means you cannot use hooks inside class based components. Never call hooks from inside a loop condition or nested function. Hooks should be defined at top of your component. Never call hooks from regular functions and hooks should only call from react functional components. And yes, a hook can call another hook as well. Now you might be thinking like when class had states and lifecycle methods, why we need hook, right? What advantage it will add? This is very good question though. Let's find out its answer. Quite obvious answer is less and clean code. So when you see the class structure and same thing when you build in functional component, you need to write less code, right? No need to define classes, no constructor, no render function, nothing. And most importantly that you don't need to handle this keyword when we talk about functional component and you have to take care about this when we talk about class component. Second is no extra parsing. We all know that browser don't understand classes, right? So extra transpilation need to be taken care for the classes. Functional components compile fast and code size also reduced. Another point you can say like functional components are quite easy to test. So class components are removed from React? No. Hooks are the addition to React. Classes are still supported. As per the React team, they have no plan to remove it for now. But they motivate you to use functional component wherever you can use them. So what about the existing code that is written in class? 
it is not suggested to migrate all your class component to functional component at one go. Ideally, the best thing you can do for now for new build always choose functional component and slowly and steadily migrate your class component to functional component. I hope we have covered pretty much everything on hooks introduction. Yes, one more thing you can check all hooks that are available in react as per your react version by using react in the console tab. It will list out all the hooks available in your current version. As I told you that all hooks start with use keyword, so it would be very easy to identify what all hooks are available. So if you move to your component and we have react here, right? So what we can do, I can do console.log and just log this react class. And when you move to your browser, open the console tab. So it is very easy to identify the hooks from this object. So I told you how you can see that, right? All hooks have used keyword as a prefix. So these all are the hooks available in react 17.0.2. So I hope now you got an understanding like what is the purpose of introducing hooks and how it will help you in your project. So in our next session, we are going to talk about our first hook that is use state, which is very common and very important. This is all about this session. I hope you got an understanding about the hooks and what is the purpose of introducing it in React. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and keep learning.